Royal Majesty Akibio of Elora, uh, Kavisi Mokiyo, uh, Royal Majesty Oba Amidu Ajibade, uh, Mokiyo Kavisi, uh, Royal Majesty Oba Abiodun Kolada Isi, uh, Kavisi Mokiyo, uh, Basharun of Oyo, I chief Yusuf Akinade, a Bobo and Yin, a Yomesi, a Mokinio, a Bewa PDP, a Itawala National, the Deputy National Secretary, all the ESCO Southwest, at the uh, states, PDP executive members. Mokinio, uh, all the honorable commissioners that are here present, our service commanders, chairmen and chairpersons of local governments, other political functionaries, permanent secretaries, heads of non ministerial departments and agencies. Uh, let me also recognize the managing director of uh, COPEC, the uh, construction company that uh, carried out this uh, project, Mr. Isam Fegali and his uh, amiable wife. You are duly recognized. Uh, and let me especially recognize Awan Babawa, Ati Iyawa, Awan Agba, uh, Awan Agbalagba, Ni or your state one one B, Yamoki, Baba Bishop by a Ladi Bolu, Baba Saka Balogu, Yamoki, Baba, Moki, Baba Bayo, Yero, Moki, Baba Nurania can be, Moki, Chibisi Laka. Baba Sunday Yilade, and then uh, Lanet Sik, Ahmed Raji, they are all duly recognized. Our religious leaders, community leaders that are present here, they are duly recognized. Women, youth, and distinguished invited guests. And when I see Moke, you know, Moki and Yoniro, you know, whether well, they call it Koku Koleji because this program is live. Everybody in Bongata and so. But Moki, and they love our Kaukami, Lola. Our distinguished ladies and gentlemen. And Bogwe and Yamo, yo! And Moki, and you know. For your support, in the last uh, election, Tokojai, uh, not only did I win all the local government over near your land, but I won honorable so one be three out of three. Ni so mudupe lawo oyo. It gives me great joy to be here today as we commission one of the key projects that will open Oyo and Okyogun zones to further investment and economic stimulation. When our administration came in a little over four years ago, we had clear plans for accelerated development in our dear state through improving our road infrastructure. We knew that if we were to compete favorably with other states in Nigeria and become key players in our West African subregion, we had to interconnect all the zones by road. We were able to quickly identify where our competitive advantage lies and come to 
and come up with a strategy for addressing that advantage. Uh, Oyo is uh, uh, the biggest by land mass in the entire uh, southwest of Nigeria. And we have variable land for agriculture. And the question for us was, how do we get the big players to come and cite their investments in agribusiness on our land? The answer wasn't uh, uh, difficult to get to. The answer was to open up the zones through road projects. Yes, we had a choice between doing what previous governments have done. I'm from Ibadan. So the choice is the we can uh, uh, concentrate efforts in Ibadan to repair in our roads, which will be easily visible to the people in the capital. But we said, no, we're not going to do that. We will rather let our infrastructural developments go after our economy. But we choose to take the path less traveled. People are shading me even up until this moment. Well, all the roads in Ibadan, the inner roads are bad. Well, I have news for you. The inner roads we will start fixing in a matter of weeks. We choose to take the path less traveled because we believe the, six the five geopolitical zones in our state must be connected for us to be able to lift the entire state economically. So these days, when I read comments on social media saying all roads in Ibadan are bad, what is Sheyi Magide doing? I smile because the people doing business in Ibadan know what we're doing and our investors know what we're doing. The people who used to avoid going to Oyo through the Oyo Isayi Road or to Isayi through the money Isayi Road because of how bad those roads were, they know what we are doing and what we've done. So with travel time on the Oyo Isayi Road reduced from two hours to 20 minutes. Even if you drive as fast as me, I'll make it in 17 minutes. But don't try it because... Uh, <laughs> don't try it because uh, my own vehicle is a little bit uh, more stable. Uh, Lionel Six said uh, to travel from here to Isayi will take us 35 minutes. No. The last time I came to inspect this road, it took us 22 minutes with a convoy going at uh, 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. So it's about 20 to 25 minutes from here to Isayi. So commuters and businesses located in this area know that there are cost savings and they know that that is impacting on their bottom line. Of course, this is not to say that uh, we won't do something about inner roads, not just in Ibadan, even in Obomasha, in Oyo, the inner roads will be fixed. But first, we have done what we promised the people of Oyo State that we're going to do, which is to stem rural urban migration. People can stay in Isayi and work in Ibadan now. And people who do stay in Oyo, now they work in Ibadan. And for businesses, Oyo and Isayi, now they are one. So we prioritize interconnectivity through roads such as the 65 kilometer Money Isayi Road, the 76.67 kilometer Isayi. Fakote Ogomasha Road, the 48 kilometer Ido Erua Road, and of course this 34.85 kilometer Oyo Isani Road. 
with industries moving to these areas or expanding their operations because of the infrastructure, we quickly increased our IGR and generated funds to do the last mile road. So here we are today to celebrate another milestone. When this project commenced in July 2021, we had an expected completion date of July 2022. However, the construction of the Ogun River Bridge caused delays, and we had to recalibrate our expectations. But we are here now, and with the joy I can see on the faces of our people, all is well that ends well. As I mentioned earlier, this 34.85 kilometer USIU road has high economic significance, not just to the people of Oyo and Isai, but to the entire state and region. The fact that it is a federal road highlights its importance. But as we will find out as we move on to inspect the former Fashola livestock farm, this road hosts one of our biggest assets in Oyo State. Our first agribusiness industrial hub, which I have been told will be completed in about a month or two, is domiciled on this route. I do not want to preempt what we will be seeing there, but going by what I have been told, our vision of creating an industrial hub in this zone is becoming a reality. We already have at least five agribusinesses operating out of the hub, and we should expect more. Our vision is to have an agro-tourism site here, and I'm looking forward to seeing the Ministry of Culture and Tourism work with the Oyo State Agribusiness Development Agency to make this place a tourist destination in the shortest possible time. I look forward to seeing what horizontal synergies can be created between the ministry and Oysada to achieve this. And shake in Jaisi Gaga. King Jaisi. I have uh, Nino Fashalansi. Emirati Ni. Motini Lekambe. So, to what did that Christmas? If it's my birthday, Christmas in here, my next birthday. So, eh, it's ever been what? To what did your Christmas ever be? She got get more. Oh, there you go. Well, we'll be going over there soon. I just wanted to say before we go that the way that we fix this federal government road is the way that local government council should be able to fix state roads. Because most of Baba Ibati, Mumba was a Yeah, it's a federal road. Tani federal person, to Wambi, Kosi, Bobowa. State can or the other Latiwa, local government can or the other Latiwa. So the businesses so low to allocate Sibe, they are not federal businesses. I want your family to be local government, low near now, I'll be state government in me. One can fair, one fair, Gori on a total. So state, federal, local. We must deliver good infrastructure and good roads for our people. So the uh, Argon, I will say to you, you should come up with strategies for the development of our various local governments. We should interconnect them. This is how we will provide sustainable development in our dear states. So as we commissioned this landmark achievement, we could not have wished for anyone better to celebrate this day with us than an extraordinary man, 
who has given a good part of his life in service to our great nation. I call him Daddy. So please permit me to yield the podium to His Excellency, the former President of Nigeria, Chief Olusegun Aremu Obasanjo, as he speaks to us before we proceed to commission the project. Thank you and God bless you.